And that is how you cook rice in a rice cooker. Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to cook rice in a rice cooker. So obviously the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to fill your rice bowl with rice grains. Now I'm gonna be using white rice in this demonstration, but you can use the same method that I am showing you on brown rice. I'm using short green white rice for this video. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is measure your rice in cup measurements. And let's just take a second to appreciate this beautiful sound that we're about to hear. Call me weird, but for whatever reason, I just love the sound that rice grain makes when it is hitting the empty bowl. Yep, I'm weird, I'll accept that. So for this demonstration, we're gonna be cooking three cups of rice. Now, I've seen different ratios. Some people use like, you know, half a cup of water per cup of rice, but I'm gonna be using one cup of water for every cup of rice. This is the style that my mother has been doing for years, and this is the style that I am used to. Now, I am still able to make sticky rice with this method. Now, some people might like their finished rice a little bit more dry, but I like the rice a little bit on like the moist side. Obviously, it's still relatively dry after you've made the rice. I'll show you at the end of the video what it's gonna look like. So on your rice cooker, you have many different options. You'll have the white rice button, the brown rice button. You'll also have quick rice button for like minute rice. Typically the options that I like to use are the white rice and the brown rice button depending on what rice grain I'm using. So obviously when you plug it in, there'll be the power button, but let's go and get our water. So as you can see, I already have my water measured out and I have three cups of water because I just put in three cups of rice. So I'll just point it out right there. There you go, you see that I measured out three cups. So let us pour some of this beautiful water into the rice bowl. Pro tip, if you wanted to make your rice a little bit more flavorful, you could add chicken broth or beef broth instead of water. And you could also add some seasonings to the water and naturally the rice will absorb all of the flavors. So if you're willing to experiment, add some chicken broth or beef broth. Once you've measured your desired fluids and added it to the rice, like I said, I am using the ratio of one cup of rice grain to one cup of water. So now you're gonna go back to your rice cooker and then you're gonna shake the rice cooker so that the rice is perfectly leveled on the bottom so that the rice cooker is able to cook the rice thoroughly and make it very even because you would hate to have some of your rice overcooked. So now I'm just gonna close the rice cooker and obviously it'll make a little click. And we're going to plug this bad boy in with this beautiful cord. Oh yeah, here we go. So it's gonna go into this outlet right here. Just shove it right in there. Okay, so now you're gonna have to hit the power button to turn on the rice cooker. There it is. Now that you've turned the rice cooker on, it is time for some beautiful rice cooking action. So I am using white rice grain for this video. So obviously I'm gonna hit the white rice button, but if you're using brown rice, hit the brown rice button. So right here on the screen, you're gonna see these two dots and it's just gonna circulate all the way through while it's cooking. Now it typically takes around 30 minutes to an hour, depending on what type of rice you're making. So we're gonna wait for it to cook and you'll see a little countdown in just a second. All right, so as you can see, it is seven minutes until the rice is done. Once it hits, I think about 10 minutes, it'll show you like a number and that's how many minutes you have to wait. So you can just see that it just went down to six minutes and we're gonna jump ahead to when the rice is done. All right, once the rice is done cooking, the rice cooker will automatically go to keep warm mode and let us open this bad boy and look at that beautiful, cooked rice. Now what I like to do next is I like to stir the rice around just in case I want to keep the rice cooker on warm so that the rice on the bottom doesn't continue to cook and get dried out. So I highly recommend you stir around the rice once the rice cooker is done cooking. And just like that, you know how to cook rice in a rice cooker. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys lit up.